Hi guys! Neem oil is one of our must-haves talaga when you're taking care of plants. And today we're going to do a quick tip video about neem oil. So before we get started, uh, I just want to say that this video is not sponsored. So any products that we will show are products that we have been using for from the very start. If you have any questions or if you think we missed anything, feel free to comment down below. Uh, if you like this video or our previous videos, please press the like and subscribe button. Okay, so uh, for me, very important tong topic na to kasi uh, most plant parents, if not all, uh, are dealing with pest problems kasi kami na. Uh, meron kaming plants sa bahay, meron kaming plants dito sa condo. And either way, nagkakapest eh. So they really find a way to make it into your plants. So one of the ways that we control our pest problem, kasi thankfully we haven't had major infestations, is we spray with neem oil every week for maintenance. So ang neem oil, um, it works in two ways. It works upon contact. Pagka... Kasi alam naman natin yung oil, uh, pag na-sprayan mo yung pest, no, nakukoat yung body niya. So, nabablock yung respiratory system nila. And then, they can't breathe. So, syempre, mamamatay sila. The second way it fights pests is through azadiractin. Yung neem oil kasi, it contains azadiractin. Yung azadiractin naman, it doesn't work upon contact. It doesn't kill pests upon contact. Nag-work siya kapag ka na-ingest siya ng pest. So, pag nakain siya ng pest, what happens is they lose their appetite to eat and then they die eventually. Also, they lose the desire to reproduce. So, hindi na dadami yung pests. Ha, no? So, that's the two ways that um, neem oil works. Pero, uh, we have to understand na, syempre, since gawa sa oil, yung neem oil, it doesn't mix with water. Oil and water doesn't mix, diba? So, we have to mix it with something para mamix siya sa water. So, ang ginagawa is, we mix it with soap. Actually, ang ginagamit namin is uh, castile soap. It's an insecticidal soap. It's very mild. It works the same way as neem oil, pero upon contact. Um, nabablock ng soap yung respiratory system ng pests. And then, they die upon contact. The next thing I want to talk about is, are all neem oils the same? Kasi maraming... Uh, nagbebenta ng neem oil sa market, sa online, sa mga garden centers. Uh, for me, sa experience namin, there are three types of neem oil. Merong cold-pressed neem oil, merong hot-pressed neem oil, and then merong ready-to-spray na neem oil. So, ano yung difference ng tatlo? First, dun tayo sa cold-pressed and hot-pressed neem oil. Obviously, yung difference nila is yung process ng extraction from the neem seed or the neem tree. So, anong difference nung dalawa? I was lucky to be able to talk to the seller nung binibilan namin nung neem oil. At in-explain niya sa akin is when you process it na cold pressed, you're getting the much purer form. Kasi pagka nag-introduce ka na ng heat, di mo na ma-iwasan na may mabago ka sa chemical structure nung substance. Kahit ano namang in-extract mo eh. When you introduce heat, medyo may mababago ka na dun sa chemical uh, structure nung substance na yun. So, ang main difference nung dalawa is yung cold press, you're getting the much purer uh, neem oil. You're also getting a lot more of the azadiractin. And for me, kasi yung azadiractin, that's where your money is going eh, pagka bumibili ka ng neem oil. Kasi hindi lang siya mag-work upon contact. Nag-work din siya like a systemic pesticide. So, hindi naman ibig sabihin na hindi maganda yung hot-pressed neem oil, no? Uh, ang main difference niya is yung cold-pressed kasi medyo malakas yung smell niya. Although, hindi siya mabaho. Pero, for some people, siguro maybe medyo nakaka-irritate yung smell. Medyo woody yung smell niya. Yung hot-pressed is also pure neem oil. Pero, much less yung... Much less pure siya compared sa cold-pressed. Pero, ang advantage niya is hindi siya ganun ka-amoy. So, syempre, may binibigyan nila ng choice yung people na kung ano yung gusto nilang gamitin. Now, the third type of neem oil is yung ready-to-spray neem oil. No offense to the people selling, pero I wouldn't suggest buying ready-to-spray neem oil. Kasi alam naman natin ang oil, when you mix it with water, 
Uh, Nagbe-breakdown na siya eh. Nagbe-breakdown siya. It only lasts, I think, 8 hours before totally ma-breakdown yung oil. So, when you buy ready-to-spray neem oil, you're basically not getting your money's worth. Na-breakdown na yung oil eh. Diba? So, I suggest kung bibili ka, buy the pure kind of neem oil. Tapos, ikaw na lang mag-mix sa water. Although, meron pa rin naman pesticidal properties yung ready-to-spray. But, of course, when you're going to buy, dun ka sa mas sulit, diba? Ito yung binibili namin. Um, it's from Urban Gardening Shop. It says here that it's cold pressed and that it contains 70% as a deractin. So, at least dito, very clear siya na you're getting 70% as a deractin dito sa neem oil na to. I'm not sure kasi dun sa ibang makikita ko online or sa mga garden centers. They don't say kung ano yung process ng pag-extract nila ng neem oil. Nakalagay lang neem oil. They don't say if it's cold pressed or hot pressed. They also don't say kung gaano karami yung as a deractin na kinocontain ng neem oil na yon. So kami, ito yung binibili namin. And so far, it has worked for us. So the next thing that we're going to talk about are the benefits of neem oil. So why do I think it's better than using chemical pesticides? Unang-una, yung neem oil kasi, it's a pesticide. It kills upon contact. It also works as a systemic pesticide uh, since it contains azadiractin. Um, it also works as a fungicide. Although, sa experience namin, uh, when you're dealing with fungi, major fungi problems, it's better to use uh, fungicide talaga instead of neem oil. Parang for experience, from experience namin, uh, yung neem oil is more on for maintenance purposes eh. Pero when you're having problems na talaga with fungi, we also use uh, fungicide. Also, neem oil works on a long list of pests, around 200 types of pests yata. So, broad range yung nakocover niya. Also, ang advantage niya is hindi na immune yung pest. Kahit pa ulit-ulit mo siyang gamitin, it works. It still works. It can also uh, make your leaves, yung leaves ng plants niyo, to be more shiny. Yung iba ginagamit nila yon for, ano eh, for cleaning the leaves. Also, since it's organic, um, it's not uh, harmful to children, to pets, if you have sa house niyo. Unlike yung mga chemical pesticides. That's why we choose to use neem oil kasi we have kids at home. So, pag chemical kasi, there's a uh, slight danger. Kailangan mo maglinis talaga after using chemical pesticides. So, how do you use neem oil? Ito na yung last na pag-uusapan natin. Ang ratio ng pag-mix mo, pag mo ng neem solution, uh, make sure to read the instructions on the neem oil that you buy. Pero in our case, um, it says here that we have to mix uh, one teaspoon of neem oil and then combine it with soap. Yung soap kasi it acts as an uh, emulsifying agent para magmix yung oil at water. So you have to mix it with soap. Although, pwede rin naman gamitin yung mga regular dish washing soap. But I am not very sure kung paano yung ratio ng pagmix kasi mas harsh yung dishwashing soap. Eh, siguro a few drops of dishwashing soap will do. So when you spray with uh, neem oil, the neem oil solution, make sure you get the both sides of the leaves, yung top tsaka yung bottom. Also, spray the stem. Kasi yung pests, minsan nagtatago sila sa stem nung plant eh. Make sure that the leaves are really drenched. Kasi as we mentioned kanina, it, yung neem oil, nag-work siya both as upon contact. And pagka na-ingest nung pest yung azadiractin. Uh, you have to really drench the plant para ma-make sure mo na natamaan mo yung mga nagtatagong pests. Also, you can use the neem oil as a uh, pandilig instead of watering with water. You can pour the neem solution sa soil. Ma-absorb ng plant mo yung azadiractin. Tapos may iwasan mo na bumalik na yung pest. When they suck on the plant, ma makakain nila yung azadiractin eh. Also, sometimes there are pests hiding in the soil eh. So, from time to time, binubuusan namin ng neem solution yung soil namin. When you spray with neem oil, make sure that you're only spraying very early in the morning and late in the afternoon. Pero if you ask me, uh, it's much better if you spray late in the afternoon instead of sa morning. Kasi lalo ngayong summer dito sa Philippines, uh, mainit na yung sun eh, kahit morning pa lang. 
So, may tendency kasi na maka-burn ng leaves yung neem oil. Since it's oil, makukot yung leaf nung plant mo ng oil eh. So, may tendency na pag natamaan siya ng sun, masusunog yung leaf. So, I suggest uh, spraying late afternoon around 5pm to 5.30pm. Kami, we use neem oil on a week to week basis, once a week. But if you have major infestations in your plants, you can use neem oil as much as twice a week. Uh, pansin namin kasi yung neem oil, it doesn't work uh, immediately. Yung pagka-spray mo, kinabuhasan, wala na agad yung pest. Eradicated agad. It doesn't work that way. Usually, pansin namin, sa experience namin, uh, neem oil works siguro mga 2 to 3 sprays. After 2 to 3 sprays, dun mo kapansin na, na wala na yung pest sa plants mo. It doesn't work uh, instantly, unlike yung mga chemical pesticides. So, that's it. Uh, hopefully, like us, you won't have any major infestations of pests by using neem oil. Um, ganun lang kadali gumamit ng neem oil. For us, it's a much better option than chemical pesticides. Uh, I hope you try it out and let us know in the comment section. Tan 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 tan